Hi, I'm William Lan. I'm the president of the Capital Division, and I wanted to wish you a happy Doctor's Day. You know, I'm always humbled by your commitment to our patients and to our community and to our staff. And all that you do is so much appreciated by me and everyone on our team. You know, your feedback is really important to me, and we have been working on the results of the last physician survey. So I want to thank you in advance for taking the survey this year. As a result of your feedback last year, we've been laser focused on three things. And I wanted to, on this Doctor's Day, talk a little bit about those briefly. The first is staffing. So we have reduced our overall nursing turnover in our division down to 16.7%, which compares to the national average favorably, which is at 20.3% at this point, according to the American Hospital Association. But that's not good enough for me. I would like to get us down to 12% turnover. We're increasing the headcount of experienced nurses, but you all know that we're also hiring a lot of new graduates, which is a good thing, but it's also a challenging thing for you. And what I really want to encourage you to do and appreciate you doing is teaching these new nurses about the profession, about the physiology, and about how you care for patients because they are our next generation of nurses that will hopefully be around for a long time. And I know that education and that comfort level with them caring for your patients will improve over time and it'll make your lives better and the lives of your patients better. So thank you for that. The second thing that we're focused on is investments, and I mean investments in new equipment as well as in new things in our buildings that you have asked us for. So there's about $250 million worth of capital investment that we've done that's either come online or will be coming online this year in 2024. I'll give you a couple of examples of that. There's a new radiation therapy department that's going to be opening in New England at our Portsmouth Hospital. And so patients that have cancer care won't have to go down to Boston for radiation therapy treatment. We'll be able to do it right there on the seacoast in New England for them. Another one is that we have an Ion Da Vinci robot at Chippenham that just got launched. And as an interventional pulmonologist myself, this is really exciting to me. And I was going to tell you a story about a patient that Dan Woolley and his team cared for recently in Richmond at Chippenham. It was a patient with a solitary pulmonary nodule. The differential diagnosis included a neoplasm versus an infectious etiology. Actually, the docs were kind of thinking it might be more of an infectious etiology, but they nevertheless permitted the patient for both a biopsy and then an excision in case the biopsy showed that it was a cancerous neoplasm. So the patient went to the procedure, got the ion robot, got biopsied, it was malignant, and then they were converted to a robotic um, lobectomy. And so the patient woke up from the procedure knowing that they had had cancer, but the cancer was now out of their body. So it was a stage one cancer that was cured as a result of the things that Dr. Woolley and his team did as a result of that technology that was brought to bear because of the voice of the physicians who said that that would be a great thing to bring to Chippenham. So, Technology is the last thing that we're really focused on. And this is different than the equipment sort of technology. This is more about how do we get physicians and nurses more at the bedside and out of the computer. And so there's a couple of really exciting things that we've got going. The first is we're getting rid of Meditech Magic and we're launching Expanse, which is a Meditech product that is very much an Amazon-like experience. In fact, we've already launched it in New England, and a lot of the nurses in New England have worked at the big academic centers that use Epic. And many of them are saying that they like Meditech Expanse better than they do Epic. So this is a really great system, very user-friendly. It's going to cut down the amount of clicks that you guys have to do, and it's going to allow you to see EKGs, x-rays, things like that much easier. So we're excited about that. The other thing you should know about is HCA has a whole division of clinical transformation and innovation that's headed up by Dr. Mike Schlosser, a physician who's a neurosurgeon, who seeks to make a step change in how we're caring for patients. Again, with the idea of using technology to get you and our nursing teams back to the bedside and out of computers. 
And so there's some exciting things that we've already launched. One is called Timpani. This is AI that looks at scheduling for nurses. And so what that program does is it takes the preferences of the nurses of when they want to work and it takes their clinical expertise and then it looks at the patients that we know we have on the units and then it predicts based on history the kinds of patients we're going to have at that particular time frame and then it creates a schedule so the nurse manager and the nurses themselves have a much more balanced schedule that they want to work and this is going to reduce a lot of time and improve their uh, satisfaction with the scheduling. But we're not stopping there. We're using large language models and our partnership with Google to be able to do passive listening so we can create notes for clinicians that can then talk to patients either in the emergency room or in areas of our hospitals and just having a dialogue with the patient and not being at your computer typing is going to allow physicians to pay much more attention to their patients and get back to that human-to-human -human interaction that we all went to medical school for in the first place. And lastly, we're deploying a nurse that is called Katie, C-A-T-I, which stands for Computer Aided Technology. Katie is an AI-generated nurse that performs many nursing functions. She listens to the interactions between patients and the physicians and other caregivers, and she can create summaries of care from the evening before to be an executive summary for turnover for nursing staff and for physicians. In fact, Katie, for physicians that are consulting, can generate an executive summary of the patient's entire hospital stay and their past medical history, which would decrease the amount of work that a consulting physician would need to do. So again, those are the three things that we're focused on, staffing, technology, and investment. Thank you for your feedback. Thanks for everything that you do for our patients and our communities. Happy Doctor's Day.